So what we have here is an infrared camera from FLIR. This is the introductory model, the kind of the lower price model on the market. It's still fine for what we're going to use it for today, um, but this is not what your real high-end um, building diagnostics companies are going to use. This is something that's just going to paint some simple pictures for us. We'll be able to see some temperature differences. Um, if I find some real good images, we'll make sure we capture them with the HD Sony there. But right now, we're going to use this as a general tool um, to see if we can tell temperature differences in different parts of the house. And if we find them, we'll see if they're attributed to air leakage or not. So, according to my infrared camera, I can see a spot up where these beams penetrate and connect with the outer rim joist. And what I'm seeing here, depending on how well it shows up, is it's really dark right at the intersection. And then it fades less dark. And that could be for a couple of reasons. It could be because that's the coldest spot and then it gets less cold as it comes into the house. Uh, that could be from conduction from the outside. Or it could also be because cold air from outside is coming in and washing over this. Remember, we're sucking air into the house. So if that's a, a leakage spot to the outside, we could be sucking that air in. And as that cold air washes over this beam, it strips away the heat that's been building up from us at being active in here, from the lights being on, from the construction work that's been happening. So in order to tell, is this a conduction issue or is this an air movement issue, I'm going to use my high-tech device called my hand. I'm going to get it wet and I'm going to see, can I feel air moving over my hand when I stick it up? So I've just licked the back of my hand, I stick it up and sure enough, I can feel quite easily air moving through. So we've got air coming through this location from the outside working its way through. First guess is if it's happening here, is it happening everywhere? So we're going to want to take a look at, it, at some more spots along the rim to find out if that's an issue. If it is, at least we found it early enough and we've identified something that they can correct in. And I do feel a little bit of air here, but it's not horrendous. Um, it's a small amount of air through this penetration, which is a good sign because this is a part where, as the building was shipped, these are some parts that were put together on site. So naturally, this is a place where we suspect could be an issue. But this means attention to detail as they were being put together was good enough that at least it's no worse than any other part of the rim joist. And that's a, and to a degree, a positive thing.